So how does something as complicated as the human brain actually function? Well, the brain contains about 100 billion neurons or brain cells. And these can be connected via axons or thin fibres to synapses with other neurons. To such an extent there can be up to 15,000 synapses connected to a single neuron with maybe 500 trillion connections within a single human brain. But how in all that complicated biological wiring does the brain actually work and store information? Well, some processes or pathways within the brain are followed in such a frequent manner to be adopted as the default condition, in that a certain set of actions are followed or completed until their conclusion as long as nothing else actually happens to change it. This could be anything from a boring repetitive task or a sporting action to walking or driving a familiar route back home. Quite often with these, the active part of your brain actually switches off and it just follows the routine, which is why on occasions on a journey home you sometimes have no memory of the actual journey as your brain is actually literally on autopilot. So what happens, say, if when walking along you pass the fourth house on your left and the ball came flying out of the garden and nearly hit you. Well, your eyes would immediately pass the information to your brain, then process the information, make a decision as if you needed to take avoiding action. And if so, it would then inform the body with which muscles to move. Once it's been completed, the brain now adds or upgrades several new paths to the well-worn passage that the brain with that particular journey home normally would have to take. This means the next few times that you approach the fourth house, you'll be on a higher alert for a similar object to actually take place. If no object appears, then the brain will downplay the risk, or demote or delete the new paths, and then restore the original setting of your journey. The brain uses experiences like this to decide in what way information from the outside world, or even information from your internal body, is actually like feeling hungry or actually processed. The pathways are constantly being changed or prioritised depending upon exactly what stimulated the initial action and how successful the results of that action were and if there could be a better reaction to the stimulus. For example, your body is hungry, decides it needs to take action, you then eat some chocolate, the hunger goes away, problem solved as far as the brain is concerned. Four hours later, you feel hungry again, your brain then goes to the solution that worked last time, proposes eating chocolate again. How this time, when you eat the chocolate, your body gives feedback saying it's now overloaded with sugars and fats and it's missing some of the essential nutrients needed to maintain the healthy body function. Now, eventually, with lots of these selections, the brain will work out for various types of food what it thinks are the appropriate levels and how often these should be eaten. However, it still can be adjusted due to changing things like your exercise level or suddenly smelling food like bacon cooking change what your brain decides. Now within the brain there are actually certain specialised areas and each area covers different actions. For instance, when the eyes see a face they can concentrate on certain facial features. This information is then part, part of the brain dealing with facial features. They're compared against a store of features, much like the way the game Guess Who actually works. Depending upon the results, each key part of the face depends upon which route is then selected within the path. And the brain then comes to a conclusion about the identity of that face. The identity of the face is then passed to another part of the brain that can say whether that person likes this particular sport or that hobby or any other interests. That information is then passed to another part of the brain, which then can use this information, along with some others, to decide upon what might be, say, the appropriate start to a conversation or discussion with that person. Different parts of the brain do different jo jobs. Very complicated system. It's just an introduction into how the brain processes the information.